All right, here we are, University of Texas at Tyler Patriots, fresh off winning the NCAA Division II National Championship. Congratulations to y'all. <laughs> Coach Reed, please go ahead and introduce all your players up there and then give us an opening statement. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I'm Michelle. <laughs> I'm Audrey. I'm Courtney. <laughs> I'm Cassidy. I'm Genesis. I'm Tara. Our amazing seniors here. Coach Reed here. <laughs> All right, Coach, here it is. 20 years, and you've now gotten your Division Three title a couple years ago, Division Two title here with this team, and really a fantastic showing. Uh, putting the pedal to the metal there late with six late runs. Reflect on this championship series and, and what your team's accomplished for you this year. Uh, you know, what a, what a great week. Um, and, and to come out in this game, and we talked about it being visitors. We thought it would be important if we could score early, that that, that would be kind of been the key all week. And I thought we did that with uh, getting those four early and then uh, worked out of a, a jam or two a couple times and then get the six late just, again, um, to allow maybe trying to keep your mind from letting it go forward and thinking this is about to, about to happen. Um, this, this group, Team 20, is incredible. We were just reminiscing. Um, you know, a lot of people will see and see the highlights of the last pitch or the highlights of this game. but. This group will um, certainly know the journey. Uh, that makes it even more special in the last out. Um, we've got some that have been with us for several years, some that just joined us this year to be, be part of the journey. Um, I, I just I couldn't be more proud. Um, you know, we feel like we play the game the right way, the hard way, and it's not easy. Um, Audrey, I think, talked about it in a quote she had. You've got to find those special student athletes that are willing to play that way and are willing to do that work. And we get comments about the discipline and those things that we play with. You have to find the special people that are willing to do that, both in star roles, non-star roles, so they're willing to show up every day. And that's what this group represents, and that's what I'm most proud of. The team back there is they showed up every day, they put their work in, and uh, for them to get to feel this, and I think we're all still, it's sunk in a little bit, but a little in shock, um, I think. Um, it's something, uh, hopefully, a memory, and Dr. Calhoun said that. Hopefully, it's a memory they can have for a lifetime. Absolutely. Cassidy, Genesis, Tara, standing in the back there. As seniors, what's it mean to you to be able to finish out your time with the program with a national championship, getting the shirts, the hats, celebrating on field with your teammates and families? If each of you could share for me, that'd be great. You know, just putting in all the blood, sweat, and tears every day at practice, working hard for each other, our sisters, it feels amazing. It's like Coach Reese said, we're all still kind of in shock. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what it's all about. This is what we work so hard for and all the practice and just everything. And doing it with these group of girls means a lot. Yeah, you know, just um, knowing how hard we work every day and, like, the grind we're on every day is going to pay off eventually. And to do it with this group of girls is something really special. Coach, this team's been very impressive all season long. As you think about putting together a roster, you really put together one that hits in all facets of the game. You guys outscored your opponents by over 300 runs this season. And here in this championship game, we even see an example of that with 10 to 1 runs here. Um, talk a little bit about as you're out recruiting, as you're looking for the next UT Tyler softball players, um, what are you looking for? What stands out? Well, you know, the normal things that people are going to come to mind, say athleticism. Um, I, I think if you look at our roster, um, that athleticism translates to being able to play great defense, uh, run the base as well. Hopefully we, we saw that. But I think what, what this group super represents for the team and as a whole is when we're out watching and we talked about it, who, who's willing to kind of to play the game? And I think um, the right way and sacrifice and um, – Willing to run things out, buy into the culture because it's, there's there's easier things and places you can go, um, and so you're looking for those that that have that that spirit, that coachable spirit, that drive to to trust you and say, okay, I'll do it this way, and, and I'll, I'll trust that at the end we get to feel the feeling that we're having. So you're looking for athletes, great players, but you're also looking for those uh, that are true competitors and have the heart to be coached and to. Um, be, you know, to do the grind, the discipline it takes every single day. And as you go out, I mean, everybody's not willing to do that. Um, and that's what we, you know, we told them, but not everyone gets to feel the feeling that they're feeling now. 
Well, Coach, that discipline adds up. You guys had five members of the 13-player all-tournament team, including these three young ladies in the front row. Talk a little bit about each of their performance, especially as we got later into the tournament here to help you towards this championship. Well, obviously, we've leaned on, on them quite a bit. Um, you know, Pluchik having a, a three for three day today. Um, and, and, you know, they each, they each have been around and played a lot of games um, in, a, in a UT Tyler jersey. So when you get to this stage, you're going to have to rely on them. I mean, that, that's what it's about. And I think as you go and we, we print our lineup out and you look at that balanced um, results, I, I think that's what you're going to. I think we'll look at as one of the keys for the week. And obviously, Plojek had a great week. Harry, I mean, uh, Escamilla came back today. Um, you know, having to, she has caught so many games for us in this heat. I know uh, Kristen threw a lot of pitches for us, but she, she caught every pitches, every pitch. And so to come back today, um, not tired, showing, not showing tired, <laughs> um, with, 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 with four RBIs um, is it, just incredible. You know, and Aries having a big swing uh, yesterday. And, you know, those that have watched our program are going to recognize these faces, and they're all going to be excited that they're all not going to be a part of us anymore. Our competitors are going to be glad to see them go. We're going to be super sad just because it's hard to imagine a, um, a team, you know, without, you know, Plochet giving me credit every day. So um, <laughs> I, I just, um, you know, we're, we're certainly appreciative of what I think seniors are what are – What's great about athletics in a day and age where I think it's easy to not finish things that you start, not see things through, or if things get hard, go a different direction. Uh, I think seniors are what's great. They represent seeing something to the end, um, playing since they were how old when you start playing? Six? Four. Four. Yeah. She had a bad at her going early. Four, six, eight, you to push through and. Um, and not give up, you know, and there's some hard days. There, there's some days that are tough. Every Monday is not uh, amazing. <laughs> and so I'm just proud of them to see it to the finish line. I think that this is one thing that's great about uh, college athletics. Coach, these seniors that are here are really special and, and have obviously played a large role in, in the success of this national championship. But you've spoke a lot this week about some of the names that aren't here that have already graduated, already completed their career, and the roles that they have played. Talk a little bit about that. The big question this program going from Division Three to Division Two was, would there be any, uh, you know, a slow start to Division Two? I do not think that that uh, has been the case. <laughs> and there's a lot of names that have a lot to do with that. So talk a little bit about your alumni that have played these last couple years and, and played such a major role in, in making this possible. Um, the alumni mean, mean a ton to us. I joke with them all the time. I said, we try to have as good a relationship we can have when I'm coaching you. But um, the relationship we have with our alumni, um, when, the, when they go into that, that, that is something special. Uh, we've heard from so many this week. I think we've stopped a lot of education. A lot of coaches and teachers showed the games during <laughs> class, classes, classes this week. Um, we know um, where the program started. We know the beginnings. And our alumni were those. And I, I said yesterday, I think that uh, this championship is built on the bridges built by those alumni before us. Um, and that's not just something we say today. They know they'll tell you it matters to them, it matters to us. Uh, to hear from them, uh, to read what they, they post, they support our players. Um, and then with the change, you know, being here from the start of athletics in general, Dr. Patterson got us going, to, to the change to Division II. And, th and that group of seniors that we had to take that three-year uh, provisionary status that didn't leave, that stayed. And it's such a good group. I think that is one of the big bridges it's built on. But you can go back to year one, and we hear I've got text from year one to, to last year. And so um, we, they all recognize that. We're proud. We want to do good because we want to be um, be good stewards of the program for, for all those groups. But our, our alumni, we know we're here on a lot of bridges and backs of those before us. Well, now down in the front row, uh, if each of you want to go ahead and share, we knew today was going to be the final day of this season, no matter what. For you guys, it ended in victory, but just talk about the opportunity to share one last day in the dugout with these ladies around you and your coaches. Um, <laughs> there definitely was a lot of laughs uh, just since waking up this morning, and um, I mean, you're going to continue to hear it. Doing it with these girls was just so different. We are so close, and it's such a tight-knit group that we know um, going out on the field that it means more to be standing there next to the person you're sitting to. And um, just 
to be able to come out with the win after, like I said, everything we've put through, we've been on a little roller coaster throughout the season. <laughs> so um, to finish it like this, it really means a lot. It's funny because we've kind of been joking all day, like this is our last time ever yeah. playing hockey <laughs> together. It's our last <laughs> time, just little things like that. But I think all day we really did our best to try to just soak up the moment and try to be in the, in the moment <laughs> because we're never going to get this time with each other again. And these girls mean so much to us, and getting to spend every little minute with them means everything to me. And getting to get this trophy with them, especially the people that I started with, and we know what all, all of us have been through together to get here, and it was a lot of hard work, but being able to do it together and go all four years with some great people and great teammates really means a lot. I mean, I'm definitely going to miss the days where... Wake up, practice for four hours, and go hang out for eight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> online classes. <laughs> Being able to win a championship with some of my best friends is more than I could ever ask for. Um, thank you, UT Tyler Softball, for <laughs> providing me with. <laughs> best friends for life and some of the greatest memories well coach here we are this is the end for this week anything you want to share about UT Tyler state of Texas representing your conference as you close this chapter as champions you know, I, I just want to um, all of us just want to obviously uh, congratulate Western Washington a great team an amazing season um, I want to thank all the UT Tyler people that are here Dr. Patterson Kathy Dr. Calhoun his wife is here, um, all the family and parents uh, that are here. We definitely want to take all, thank all the committee and the tournament staff. Uh, we've hosted a couple of events or two at UT Tyler, so uh, we have kind of an idea of, of the amount of people and work uh, it takes to do something like that, um, to try to provide them with an experience that they can be happy and proud of for, for a lifetime. So we appreciate everyone that spent time with that. And then. Um, you know, we had the back in the Division Three J's Jan Gentry was someone with the NCA that was around us a lot, and so this week, just being um, here at the championship forum, I just I think would be remiss without just kind of a, a saying we missed Jan Gentry and and uh, and what she taught us about how to carry ourselves and, and remind us of, of what's um, these events. But just a, a huge thank you, um, overwhelming uh, thanks to everyone who's built a part in this. Miss Irwin back home. There's some special people that were rooting us, rooting us on and have supported us that without their support, none of this is possible. All right. Well, thank you, and congratulations again to University of Texas at Tyler, Patriots, champions. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, ladies. Great job.